What's up, guys? This is Mercules, and this is Halo Help Me number two. Nice. All right, thank you, Kelly. All right, guys, what's up? This is Mercules here, and like my girlfriend Kelly said, this is Halo Help Me number two. This gameplay is going to be uh, some multi-team Team Slayer on Powerhouse. I tried to get a gameplay that I wasn't playing so much against retards, or I was actually playing against kids who were trying to kill me for once. Uh, I know I've had a message from at least one of you requesting that I play kids who actually know how to use the thumbsticks in Halo, so I tried to do it with this. The main reason I picked this gameplay is because there's actually a kid who called me out the before when I played him for being terrible at this game, and so I spent a decent amount of time in this game just absolutely trying to destroy him. His name is Blackie Chan, look out for him. And guys, I want to talk about, I'm going out of town tomorrow. So if I don't respond to your messages, if I don't respond to your comments, anything like that, it's not because, you know, I'm trying to be rude or anything. I'm actually going to the Bahamas on a scuba dive trip with my friend and my family and his family. And um, I'm just going to be gone until the 23rd. So I'm not going to have internet down there. I'm not going to be able to respond to anything. I'm not even going to have service for my cell phone. So I'm going to be completely out of touch with the world. But that's not a big deal. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. But that does mean no uploads and no responses. Um, second thing I want to talk about, I am going to do a Halo montage montage competition for that Dazzle. I just want to talk about this really quick before I want to get into the actual Halo Help Me stuff. I'm going to do a montage competition. If you can't make a montage, recommend people to my channel and um, I'll take that into account. And if you recommend a, a ton of people, then I'll award the Dazzle to you. Um, for being a huge help to my channel, but anyone else who wants to make a montage, please only use the clips that are in my spare clips playlist. Do not use anything else other than the clips in my spare clips playlist. You guys have till the end of August. I'll do first, second, and third. First will get the dazzle. I haven't decided what second and third will get, but um, I'll talk about that more when I come back from the Bahamas. All right, guys. Now I'm actually going to get into my uh, the Halo help me for this episode. Um, I'm going to talk about a little bit how to play Team Slayer in multi-team and. Multi-team Team Slayer is a little bit different than obviously normal Team Slayer because normal Team Slayer, there's only two teams, it's 4v4, it's a lot more tactical than this. Multi-team uh, Slayer is hectic, there's a bunch of people running around. A lot of times most of the kids don't have mics, you're not going into it with a party. Um, it's kind of more like the team version of Bubble Gap. It's a free-for-all but just with teams, if you know what I'm saying. It sounds kind of ridiculous, but that's pretty much what it is. Now, I don't go into multi-team a lot of times with the team. Sometimes I do. If I've got two other people I'm playing with, I'll go into multi-team, and it's much easier to dominate. But what I'm going to be talking about from this perspective is going into it without a party. Um, this is just going into multi-team pretty much on your own, by yourself, and how you can play a better game of multi-team Slayer. I'm, I'm going to give you some tips that I, that I use that I think will help you improve. Now, one of the most important things to do in multi-team is don't go into the center of the map. I don't know if y'all notice a lot in this game, but that little uh, downstairs circle of the powerhouse, stay out of that thing. If you can help it in any way, don't go into that area. I mean, it, nothing good comes from going into that area. That area is just a mosh pit of death. If you run into the center of the map, you are going to get fired upon from all sides and you're going to die. It's not a good deal. Some people who are incredibly good, like Cause of Hell, can run into the center of the map with like a sniper and a shotgun and just pick up insane multi-kills. I'm assuming most of y'all aren't quite up to Cause of Hell's skill level. I'm obviously not, so I try to avoid the middle of the map. What I like to do is I like to circle the outside of the map, because if you circle the outside of the map, then one side of you always has the edge of the map, where no one can spawn on that side. So one side of you is always guarded. It's just a little bit easier to keep things in perspective for yourself. You know where the people are going to be coming from more, and if you keep constantly moving, then there's likely not going to be people coming up behind you, because what you got to look at is this. If you're constantly moving in a direction around the map, then people are going to have a hard time catching up to you from behind kill myself right there like a retard not sure why i just sprinted and jumped on top of my grenade ignore that part of the commentary but um if you're on the outside of the map you can fire at people who are on the inside of the map without having to worry about someone coming up behind you and assassinating you it's not always going to work out perfectly like that but for the most part it will so that's my first tip for multi-team is hover around the outside of the map and fire into the inside of the map stay away from the inside of the map if you can help it because you've got to look at it like this, people are going to be spawning on the outsides of the map, and they're going to be started off facing inside, so if you're on the inside, you're going to have people coming at you from all angles. If you're on the outside, you're going to be wanting one of those people shooting at the people on the inside of the map. It's a pretty simple concept, but I feel like a lot of people actually don't know that that's one of the things that you should do. Another thing, like I said, this is for not playing with a party. Use your teammates. Look for their names. If you see their names flashing yellow or their little um, their little IDs flashing yellow or flashing orange, that means that they are in a gun battle with someone. Look for that and 
use their position as an easy way to flank. You see right here, my teammates are both over there distracting people. I pick up some nice easy kills, they get the assist on them, but really my teammates weren't doing anything else anyway, so... I mean, if your teammates are good kids, if they're just randoms, use your teammates. This is a team-based game, you're giving other people on your team for a reason. Even if you're not communicating with them with a mic, use them, find out where they are and play play them off like they're obstacles on the map your teammates are somewhere and if your teammates are there and they're not firing you know there's not bad guys over there so you don't have to worry about that side if they are firing you know there's bad guys over there try to flank those guys try to pick off some kills because if your teammates are there and they're shooting they're not completely terrible they're gonna take down their shields a little bit there's maybe some easy kill opportunities over there for them. you see what i'm saying you use your teammates in multi-team if you're not if you're in a party obviously you're gonna be talking to your teammates and stuff like that you're gonna be able to actually help each other out but in this game, I pretty much lone wolf this entire thing. My teammates do almost nothing. They both go terribly negative, and I end up getting like 30-something kills and, you know, single-digit number of deaths. But it's because I stayed around the outside of the map, and I used my teammates, and I figured out where they were, and I figured out how that could help me play off the game. So this gameplay is almost over, guys. I think it ends right here. Um, I'm going to try to put some more stuff out when I come back from the Bahamas. And remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more.